Today I am going to discuss one more important topic, zero vector or null vector. A vector with zero magnitudes and with no certain or definite direction is known as zero vector. We have to consider some examples to have a basic knowledge of zero vector or null vector. Let us consider two zero. One zero is simply represented as like this and another zero is represented like this. What is the basic difference between this zero and this zero? This zero is actually a scalar zero and this zero is a vector zero. Now consider the position of a particle is represented as zero. This zero means that the particle has not the particle has not moved yet. It is the case of rest. The particle is in rest, then its position will be represented as zero. Now, zero vector. This is the case that the particle has moved, but its initial and final points are coinciding. So, the particle has moved, but its initial and uh, final points are coinciding. Okay. We are considering lengths of two objects, one is of 5 cm, another is of 5 cm. What will be the basic difference between their lengths? The difference between the lengths is 5 cm minus 5 cm that will give 0 cm. This 0, this 0 cm is actually a scalar 0. Now we consider two vectors. One is a vector and another one is b vector. We are also considering that they are equal vectors. That is a vector is equal to b vector. A vector equal to b vector. What does it signify? Their magnitudes are same. Their directions are also same. So if we subtract them, that is a vector minus b vector, then the result will become a zero. Being the subtraction of two vector quantities, this zero will be a zero vector. Okay. We consider one more example to have our knowledge more clear. Let us consider a particle is thrown in upward direction and the particle reached to the topmost point. We are throwing this uh, object from ground to a certain height h and this is the topmost point that is at this point the object will have a velocity zero. We know at the topmost point the particle achieve a zero velocity. This zero is actually a vector zero. That is it is a zero vector. It will have no definite or certain direction. It will have no components along the x-axis, along y-axis, along z-axis. Again if a particle is moving in uniform velocity, then its acceleration is also zero. This acceleration zero is also a zero vector. Thank you.